Assalamu alaikum everybody uh, wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah uh, We begin the name of Allah, all praise and glory be to Allah and may his finest peace and blessings be upon his messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his family and his companions and all those who tread his path we ask Allah, our Lord and Master to grant us the good of this world uh, and the good of the next world and to protect us from the torment of the fire Allahumma amin Tonight's ayah, insha'Allah will be the verse in Surah An-Nahl. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wallahu ja'ala lakum min buyutikum sakana. Allah is the one who made for you out of your houses or your homes sakanan, uh, a place for you to dwell in peace. You see, not every house is a home. Uh, because home is where the peace is. Home is where the love is, as they say. Allah says, I made out of your homes for you a second, a place where you can resign to calmness, resign to sakina, uh, inner peace, tranquility. Second and sakina are very obviously related. Uh, and so Allah says that is what, what the home was made for. And the reason I say that is because subhanAllah in, in the modern lifestyle, uh, in a very odd uh, turn of events, meaning in the modern world, uh, pre-corona even, uh, we've become uh, a, a people who our homes feel very foreign to us. Uh, and it's the last place where we look to feel at peace, the last place where we look to feel fulfilled. Uh, and that's quite unfortunate because if you're not going to find it there, where else would you find it? You know, if your home is not where you find peace, then it doesn't matter how good your day is because at the end of the day, you have to go back to that home. And if your home is where you find peace, where you find your tranquility, where you find your repose, then it doesn't matter how bad my day is because I'm going back home. And so this is really what, what it circles around, your peace of mind, your inner peace, your tranquility. That's what everybody's looking for. Some people in life don't know what they're looking for, but this is what they're looking for through a bunch of different avenues, correct and incorrect. And so our treasure is right under our nose and being trapped at home uh, is an opportunity for us to rediscover that, to unearth that anew. Speaking of treasure, I, I read this morning a, uh, a Jewish uh, children's tale uh, part of a research for Yaqeen <laughs> um, about a man named Isaac who was a very poor man and many times he would go uh, to sleep hungry at night due to poverty and so he would always hear these voices in his dreams saying go to the capital city and go under the bridge and find a huge treasure there waiting for you and so he ignored the voice time and time again and then eventually he said no there must be something behind this and so he traveled out of his town uh, he crossed mountains and, and forests and, and valleys uh, and jungles till so he finally gets to the capital city and then he gets uh, under the bridge by the palace as the dream, the voice in the dream told him. And uh, he's lurking around trying to figure out a clue or, or whatnot. And one of the soldiers in the palace notices he's looking mighty suspicious. So he tells him, what in the world are you doing? He said, no, no, it's just that I had this dream and in the dream, I uh, I had to find a treasure under this bridge. So the soldier laughed at him, said, that's so funny. I had a dream once too, meaning you don't see me going running after voices in my dream. He said, I once had a dream that I'm supposed to go find some guy named Isaac and go find this huge treasure in his house uh, that's buried under his house. And so this man Isaac hears that uh, and realizes that the treasure, uh, a lead to the treasure is actually under the bridge. So he goes back home, travels this whole long distance, goes back home, begins to dig under his house, and he finds under his stove a huge fortune, a huge treasure. And so he has a big like Thanksgiving feast, if you will. And he writes an inscription, he carves in his home uh, that some things uh, you need to travel really far for to find out that they're so nearby. That's the idea of the treasure under your nose. Uh, and so how do we make our homes like that uh, once again, the way they're supposed to be? when they are right under our nose. The Prophet ﷺ actually said that. He said, وَلْيَسَعْكَ بَيْتُكَ This hadith, there's some controversy on its chain of transmission, but it is attributed to the Prophet ﷺ. Uh, 
uh, narrated by Ashab al-Sunan, make your home. That's why I'm saying you, it's what you make out of it. Make your home enough for you. Your home must be enough for you. Because if you don't make out of your home an abode for your sakina, uh, a place to anchor you, a place to fulfill you, nothing will do it, as we said in the beginning. Make your home enough for you. Tell yourself, I have a home. I'm home, that means I have a home. Many people are homeless. Many people have been marching uh, in their plight as refugees for, for hundreds of miles on foot. I have a home. When you're stressed by the, the in-your-faceness, if you will, of the families uh, and some of the tensions that are just a natural part of that space, uh, tell yourself, Alhamdulillah, I have a family. Like, learn to appreciate the silence. Let us learn to appreciate the pause that we're being given by Allah Azza wa Jal right now. Uh, appreciate being alone. Uh, the privacy with yourself, with your Qur'an, with your prayer mat, with your two palms, with your dua. Tell yourself, Allah has, has relieved me by allowing me to spend more time in my home from pretending so much. You know, like we deal with so many people, we, we are forced to like put on a thousand and one faces, one for each of them we can finally stop pretending a little bit, be ourselves a little bit. Uh, and so make your home enough for you, I guess is the, is the message of the night. Consider uh, the people that are most important in your life and, and learn a little bit more about them. And think about how short-lived life is, how could I uh, overlook them? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this an opportunity for us to turn our houses into homes and to learn where tranquility, at least the amount of tranquility available in this world, uh, can be found in these homes, and make us of those that appreciate our families a little bit more, and bond with our families, uh, and increase those bonds to be a little bit stronger uh, in these times. Allahumma ameen. Uh, till tomorrow night, uh, we'll see you guys soon, inshallah. Keep me in your prayers, and you'll certainly be in mine. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka Muhammad wa ala alihi